Brian Castellamides <laughs> here, uh, and we've got a bunch of things to talk about that we want to get through, obviously doing our segment. Yes. And one of them, uh, which I mentioned already, is CeeLo Green at the Barge. You said this was really good, it right? It was really fun. CeeLo Green in a lounge in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace. We've talked about Cleopatra's Barge mm -hmm. before. It's a famous place built in 1970. We weren't sure of the future of this after our friend Matt Goss closed out last September. They've been doing um, some ticketed shows in there with some major headliners. Uh, Blues Traveler's been in there. We had a little a show by Richard Marks uh, last week. CeeLo Green last week weekend and again this weekend headlined in the, mm -hmm. in the room and I'll tell you what this place was on fire it yeah. was really really fun there he is and he sang all of his hits and uh, you know going back to the Narrows Barkley did a medley of Michael Jackson and mm -hmm. Prince and Morris Day in the time the bird and all that so it was a party a club show it was really fun and you mentioned he might stick around I thought you I know, saw a little you know he's here. gonna do next weekend I don't know about an extended mm -hmm. uh, residency for CeeLo here that's it's a money thing for, sure. the, for that to happen right, right now they're kind of testing it out it's not a true open lounge show because it does cost a lot of money to see CeeLo in there beginning at $119, $119. Yeah. Wow, that but is um, for what it was and for what it is, it's been a lot of fun. And the barge, is, it's now a closed off venue and, and it, it's versatile. David mm -hmm. Preco's still in there. Zoe Bowie's still in there as free shows. And they're going to bring in more headliners. So okay. we, it was a, a, a heck of a thing. Yeah, I'll be back. If he's back, I'm back. All right. Well, let's talk about Circus 1903. Mm -hmm. Open last night at Paris. Beautiful show. And I like that it was family friendly too. Totally. Mm -hmm. um, there's some video that you took from a preview, right? Yeah, this was a, uh, during a re rehearsal phase just a few days before the show, which uh, opened formally last night. And those are two elephants from the folks that brought us War Horse. They're not real elephants, folks. They're real people inside those elephants, mm -hmm. and they're, they're pretty realistic. So that's one of the things that sets this show apart are those big puppets and they're very they're they're freaky how realistic they, yeah, are. they really are and uh, and the other thing I think that this show has going for it has a lot of you know very good acrobatics in it as any circus show will but um, the Willie Whipsnade the, the ring leader the ringmaster in the show David Williamson is very very good in this show he's a master at working with children and working the crowd in general and he's a great comic magician very good friends with people like Lance Burton David Copperfield Matt King was at the show last night mm -hmm. Matt told me he's his favorite magician ever. So this man is somebody to watch. The show is, is very adventurous, uh, very ambitious, and fun for the entire family. Yeah, you think it'll do well? You think it can hold that theater? It hasn't, uh, there hasn't been a show since Jersey Boys. Not since Jersey Boys. That's the big question. This is an expensive show. It's an adventurous show. You have to go after families. Yeah. That's the, that's the key to this whole thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. We wanted to talk about a couple other things, but we don't have time. We'll talk about My it fault. next week. You can check Katz's <laughs> column in the Review Journal. It's called... Cats. Stay with us. All right, before we go, here's a look at tonight's primetime television lineup at 8 o'clock. Things kick off with the 